Welcome back for chapter five. Yesterday we saw Mordecai approach Esther to tell her what was happening and her faith was put to the test and we're gonna see what happens here. Now it came about on the third day that Esther put on her royal robes and stood in the inner court of the king's palace in front of the king's rooms. And the king was sitting on his royal throne in the throne room opposite the entrance to the palace. When the king saw Esther the queen standing in the court, she obtained favor in his sight. And the king extended to Esther the golden scepter which was in his hand. So Esther came near and touched the top of the scepter. So he chose not to kill her after all. Verse three. Then the king said to her, what is troubling you, Queen Esther? And what is your request? Even to half of the kingdom, it shall be given to you. Esther said, if it pleases the king, may the king and Haman come this day to the banquet that I have prepared for him. Then the king said, bring Haman quickly that we may do as Esther desires. So the king and Haman came to the banquet, which Esther had prepared. As they drank their wine at the banquet, the king said to Esther, what is your petition for it shall be granted to you? And what is your request? Even to half of the kingdom, it shall be done. So Esther replied, my petition and my request is, if I have found favor in the sight of the king, and if it pleases the king to grant my petition and to do what I request, may the king and Haman come to the banquet which I will prepare for them, and tomorrow I will do as the king says. Then Haman went out that day glad and pleased of heart. But when Haman saw Mordecai in the king's gate, and that he did not stand up or tremble before him, Haman was filled with anger against Mordecai. Haman controlled himself, however, went to his house, and sent for his friends and his wife Zeresh. Then Haman recounted to them the glory of his riches and the number of his sons, in every instance where the king had magnified him, and how he had promoted him above the princes and servants of the king. He was probably thinking, I won't let Mordecai ruin my day today. I'll watch him die later and go boast to my wife and friends about how amazing I am. Haman also said, even Esther the queen let no one but me come with the king to the banquet which she had prepared. <laughs> and tomorrow also I am invited by her with the king. Yet all of this does not satisfy me every time I see Mordecai the Jew sitting at the king's gate. Then Zeresh, his wife, and all his friends said to him, Have a gallows fifty cubits high made, and in the morning ask the king to have Mordecai hanged on it. Then go joyfully with the king to the banquet. And the advice pleased Haman, so he had the gallows made. Well, as my pastor says, setbacks in the life of a believer are just setups for what God has in store. So to be continued. And if you've placed your faith in Christ leading to repentance, I ask you to stick around and pray. Jesus, <clears throat> it's a joy for us to share in your word with you and to learn about these amazing events in history. We can only sit in admiration at what you've accomplished in this world, and it lifts our spirits to share in learning about these events and how you were and are always present. There's plenty in our lives today that challenge and test our faith and could drive us to paralyzing fear but that's not how you want or taught us how to live. So please give us tremendous faith, trust, boldness, and courage to walk with you and live out your will for our lives, come what may. Take away all fear and worry, and instead, may we face danger for the sake of loving others. Please, by your spirit, give us the courage to accomplish this. Please be with our children and grandchildren and bring them into your kingdom and give them future spouses that truly love you first in their lives. Help those we know and love that are ill to be faithful as well. And please heal them of their conditions in accordance with your will. We pray that the heavenly harvest would continue to grow. That we would be willing, faithful, and able workers to be available for your use. And please move us to do so. We continue to pray for our loved ones who reject you. Please continue working on their stubborn hearts and forgive them. We pray for evil to be restrained and punished up until the time of the tribulation and that you would keep a level of peace and order even though none of us deserve it. We pray for either removal or a change of heart of our governor, that he would stop putting tyrannical rules upon the people and do what's best. If... Um, <clears throat> 
if, excuse me, if his heels are dug too far in for resistance, then please remove him and put someone in place that respects your values and ordinances. And may our president and Supreme Court also have members in place that take a stand for what's right in alignment with your word, including justice and laws. Finally, Lord, forgive our sins, please. Deliver us from evil and temptation in this day and help us to walk side by side with you. And we lift these things up in the name of Christ. Amen. Appreciate you guys. Really do love you too. And uh, hope you have a wonderful day today. Just keep staying faithful. God will walk us through this. God bless you. Keep on keeping on.